Yeah, I'll, I'll go out to uh, to College Station. Obviously, a heartbreaking loss for the Aggies this past week with a what's at least this far in the season being a, a proven App State team that has some grit, that's riding a wave. We'll see what they do down the stretch. But change of quarterback, that is always a big question mark, right? You move from Haynes King to Max Johnson. Max Johnson obviously has a lot of experience coming over from LSU. Uh, I think he's stepped in tonight so far in this game, and he's provided, I'll, I'll say, some stability. Now, they're not blowing out Miami, but Miami could or could not be a good team at this point. Uh, but they're being competitive. Um, he's not turning the ball over. He's moving the ball down the field at times. He's staying ahead of the chains, and that's what you want to see. Um, to come out this week and play a, a team that's in the top 15 and be ahead by two scores now late in the third that's what you wanted to see in response from last week, if you're an Aggie fan or an Aggie player. And so hats off to them. Now, is everything fixed in College Station? Absolutely not. Long road ahead. Haven't even gotten to the teeth of their def or into their season, excuse me. But this is what you wanted to see in response to last week, uh, if you're a fan or if you're a player, in my opinion. Uh, love it. Bryce, either way, um... Did, are either of these games more impactful than the other? Do we learn about any one of these four teams, in your opinion, especially off of uh, what Trevor just gave us? Yeah, yeah, I, I'll play with both of them, really, because, you know, this this to me was more of a rebound game for A&M. It's, it's, look, it's never good and it's never fun to lose to a team like App State, nothing against App State, but you're A&M. You know, you're a top-10 team. Uh, this was, again, your year that, 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 you know, you take down Alabama, uh, you win the West, you go on, and, 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 it's, and it's, again, it's your parade to win. Um, <clears throat> all that's out the window now. But what, what do you do when you come back the next week? And I think that they've rebounded really well. And, and, you know, to Trevor's point, I don't think things are fixed with Johnson and being in there, but at least there, there's, an up, there's an up-tempo um, about what he can do and he delivers and he executes. I, to me, a lot better than, than Haynes King. And then when you go out West um, watching, you know, the, this Washington and, and Michigan State game, it, I think the thing that kind of, you know, throws a kink in this for Michigan State to me, Mel Tucker is a defensive guy. Um, Washington's running all over them. They're yeah. throwing all over them. They're just yeah. having their way with them, which is not uh, what you really want to see, I know, from, from Mel Tucker and, and that defense. Um, and they've got a stretch coming up. You know, they've got Minnesota. I think if they, if they take care of this game or they, they would have taken care of this game, I think, you know, there, there was there was going to be some games in there that, that could have been uh, really interesting. Obviously, you know, I think Minnesota's coming up um, and then obviously Ohio State. So, um, you know, this, that, that one's not 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 a fun one to, to be, you know, a defensive guy um, as a head coach and seeing your defense get thrown around like that. So that's kind of my two cents on these two games. Hack, I agree with Bryce. Um, yeah. Your, your thoughts on that. A&M, they are in bounce back mode. I mean. I can't even imagine what the first team meeting must have been like on Sunday with the practices and the weight room sessions, mm -hmm. players with coaches, players without coaches. And then. What's going on, guys? Rob Doster here, the founder of the Field of 68 and the Field of 12 Media Networks. I wanted to take a quick minute to let you guys know about an exciting new project that we have been working on for the last three months. The Almanac, an all-encompassing preview of the 2022-23 college basketball season. We spoke with every single Division I head coach to give you a robust and accurate preview for all 363 Division I college basketball teams. We have predictions for conference finishes for all 32 leagues. We have features on the best freshmen, the best big men, the breakout stars, the coaches on the hot seat, so much more. It is 600,000 words of sheer happiness for the college basketball fan in your life. The Almanac is going to be available for digital purchase on September 26th for just $19.99, but you can pre-order it today using the promo code HOOPS and save 20%. Just hit the link in the description below.